My view is very similar to most librarians, actually, which is that what you read is uh, very personal. Uh, it's a big part of uh, the right of freedom of expression is also the freedom to read. Uh, and what people are reading is really their own business, and uh, that's very important to us. Now let's talk about LavaBit. Now this is the website that allegedly is used by Edward Snowden as his email site, and the site chose to shut itself down rather than comply with the U.S. government. So you have a site like LavaBit, but then you also have sites like Google that have complied with the U.S. government and handed over data to the um, NSA. Where does Wikipedia stand in all this? Well, we're not going to shut down over one request from the government. Uh, we can't do that. We've been very fortunate in that uh, we have to date not been served with any of these kinds of secret orders or, or whatever. Um, I've said personally, if, uh, if I'm ever served with one, I will have to exercise my freedom of speech as I, my conscience dictates. I think these things are really unconstitutional and aren't going to stand for very long. Uh, but in the meantime, I think it's very interesting to watch something like Lava Bit. Um, there's too little known right now to really judge the situation. Uh, but I think, as far as I can see so far, it seems like quite an admirable thing for them to have done. Now, you've been very critical about mainstream media reporting of the Stone Affair, of the NSA leaks. And in fact, you want to kickstart a, a new discussion about shaking up journalism. What are you proposing? Well, I think it's really interesting how uh, we see even very uh, respected outlets, unfortunately, chasing after clicks, chasing after, uh, you know, sort of very short-term viewership goals and things like that. Uh, and I think what's getting lost uh, in the current market state is real serious long-form journalism, which I think there is a hunger on the part of the public for that. So I have a lot of ideas about how we might uh, change things. I think it's important that we realize what online communities can and can't do. Uh, we see a lot of exciting potential, and I want to really think about uh, how can we harness that and, and build something new. Now, on the record, here at Newstream, we have never aired any sort of tabloid-type reporting on Edward Snowden. No Edward Snowden <laughs> girlfriend stories, okay? We That's believe great. in responsible journalism. <laughs> but y you also mentioned earlier today about this hybrid model, right, that you can continue to work as a journalist, but to somehow, somehow crowdsource that and work with the crowd. I mean, how would that work? Well, I'm, I don't know. That's part of the, the opening conversation I yeah. want to have. But, um, you know, when we look at uh, discussions at Wikipedia, uh, you'll often see very intellectual, very thorough discussions trying to get at the truth, um, whereas uh, usually the way newspaper comments uh, work, uh, at the bottom of any news story online, you read the comments and you sort of you weep for the future of humanity. Um, it's really uh, not very well done and there's a lot of real sort of bile and angry people and it's, uh, it's just useless. So what I want to think about is how do we harness all the good people out there to bring out good commentary on the news, good participation on the news, um, and actually help journalists. Uh, we, you know, we live in an era when people who have information can come to journalists much more easily than ever before. Uh, we're seeing this in, in dramatic ways, whether for good or for bad, depending on your perspective, uh, with things like Snowden. Mm -hmm. um, I think it can happen in a lot of smaller ways as well, to really uh, in, engage the public in the process of journalism. Now, Wikipedia is only as good, is only as strong as its community, as, as the editors and the contributors that build it. Um, I learned that 90% of your editors are male. Um, and is that true? All right, eighty-seven percent. Let's round it up. We're just keeping eighty-seven percent. Um, what do you plan to do about that? Well, there's a lot of things that we want to do about it. Uh, so one of the first things uh, that we're doing uh, is letting people know uh, that to say, look, we really want more women editing. We want more diversity in our editing community, and that's something we really welcome. So we're trying to do a lot of outreach programs, uh, things like this. In, in the U.K., they just recently did a, a weekend event to improve the entries about famous women scientists. And we got some famous women scientists in the U.K. to help chip in and help us uh, do that. Uh, but then another thing we want to do to diversify the editing base is right now we have in, in live beta, you can go on the site right now and try it, is our new editing environment, um, which is a much more like a uh, word processing environment. Uh, for a long time it's been a bit too tech geeky to be able to edit Wikipedia. Um, and it's not, I'm not saying that women aren't good at computers, mm -hmm. absolutely not, but I'm saying the kinds of people who are really tech geeks tend to overwhelmingly be tech geek men. Mm -hmm. uh, and so 
people like my father feel excluded from editing Wikipedia. You shouldn't have to learn uh, markup language uh, to contribute what you know to the world. So we really want to focus on that editing interface, making it easier for more people to participate. And become a more welcoming community to newbies, uh, to absolutely. Uh, not yeah. just women, but yeah. newbies. Also, well, that's the, what I would call the, the third pillar of our approach, is really to take a, a good look. One thing the Wikipedia community has been well known for over the years is that we are a nice community. Mm. We try to be friendly, we try to be welcoming, but we want to take a, always take another look at that and say, well, in what way might we be turning off people um, who are, don't fit our profile of tech geek men, um, and how can we be more welcoming?